Hello, today my challenge is to teach you what is a medical device. You will see, the answer is not so easy. Hi, my name is Munir Al Azouzi from easymedicaldevice.com. So, as I've said, we will go through the definition of what is a medical device, and I'm sure you will learn a lot of things today. A medical device. So, which can start first with the definition. So here is the definition, and you see it's a big block. So what we can do is we'll divide this block in four parts, and we'll review each of those parts to make it easy. And I have a game for you. I will just create one sentence for each part. I know it will not be conventional, or it will not be kind of um, easy to understand, but this is a sentence that will try to summarize quickly what is a medical device. Okay, let's review the first part. So, as you can see on the first block of the definition, you can read that a medical device means any instrument, apparatus, appliance, software, implant, reagent, material, or other articles intended by the manufacturer to be used alone or in combination for human beings for one or more of the following specific medical purposes. It's really a big block. Huh? So what we can do together is to reduce this to one sentence. So my proposal will be like, instead of putting all those instrument apparatus, etc., I will just put products because mainly we understand in our mind what exactly how it can look, how medical device can look. So we can say first that this is a product for human use which has a medical purpose. So this is my sentence that I'm building for the first part of the definition. Now let's go to the second part of the definition and it's really a big block. So let's read that together. Diagnosis, prevention, monitoring, prediction, prognosis, treatment or alleviation of disease. So this is mainly related to disease. The second part is diagnosis, monitoring, treatment, alleviation of or compensation for an injury or disability. So this is mainly linked to the block injury or disability. Then investigation, replacement or modification of the anatomy or of a physiological or pathological process or state. Then the last one is providing information by means of in vitro examination of specimens derived from the human body, including organ, blood, and tissue donation. Ooh, it, really, it was really hard, no? And now how can I, if I can say, shrink this definition to one sentence? My proposal, so my proposal will be something that act on disease, injuries, disabilities, anatomy, physiological or pathological state, or provide information through in vitro examination. I know it looks really a big block, but it really summarizes everything. I just removed anything related to diagnosis, monitoring, prognosis, not because it's not important, it's just to resume, to, to, summarize, the, to summarize the sentence. Okay guys, stick with me. We are the third part of the definition. So, the third part, let's read that together. And which should not achieve its principal intended action by pharmacological, immunological, or metabolic means in or on the human body, but which may be assisted in its function by such means. Whew, it's really, yeah, intense. How can I reduce this sentence? For me, what I would, if I can say reduce to make it more simple, it should not be a drug, so it's clear. It's not a, it's a, if, if it's really not having any pharmacological, it's not having any immunological or metabolic means. Means for me, it's not something that is acting on the on the body like a drug. So should not be a drug. Okay, we arrive to the end. We are the fourth block. So let's read it together. The fourth block is saying the following products shall also be deemed to be medical devices. Wow, so let's see which products are we talking about. Devices for the control or support of conception. Okay, it's one. Products specifically intended for the cleaning, disinfection, or sterilization of devices. 
as referred to in Article 1, uh, Paragraph 4, and of those referred to in the first paragraph of this point. Okay, so mainly it's products that are used for cleaning, disinfection, or sterilization of devices. How now I will summarize this sentence? For me, I made it simple. I didn't really look at including all those uh, articles. Uh, so what I reduced it to is a list of products to include. So mainly it's only that. Because there is here a list of two products to include, if I can say. But you will see later that we have a full annex of additional products that we should include that have no medical purpose also. So yeah, we'll review that later. Whew. Okay, we are at the end. So now, if I want to summarize my definition, so let's say Munir's definition for medical devices. And as I said, it's not a, a accurate definition, it's just something to remind you what exactly is a medical device. So let's read my definition again. So it's a product for human use which has a medical purpose that act on disease, injuries, disabilities, anatomy, physiological or pathological state or provide information through in vitro examination. It should not be a drug and an additional list of products to include. Okay, so this is kind of my definition, but you can create yours also. It's not something that is uh, official, if I can say. One sentence that is really important on this definition is the word principal intended action. So what does it mean? It means that if you have a device or product or whatever you want to say, that is falling under this definition. But its principal intended action is not the medical device action, but for example, a drug action. So then the product is not a medical device, it is a drug. If it has more a cosmetic action than a medical device action, if the primary intended action is cosmetic and not medical device, then it's a cosmetic. This is really important because we have some products now that are called like combination products or borderline products where this wording principle intended action is really important. And now I will show you the annex that is related to the additional products that have no medical purpose but are considered as medical devices. So this is annex 16 and on this annex you will have a full paragraph with all products or definition of products that are falling under the medical device uh, regulation but they have no medical device purpose med no medical purpose if i can say so i've done the same thing instead of just um just copying all the sentence i just kind of translated them to one sentence or one product the first product is aesthetic contact lenses so when you have those contact lenses that are just here for coloring your eyes, this is normally not considered as a medical device because there is no medical device purpose. But as you include it on your eyes and you, it's in contact with your body, they estimate that this product should be included on the medical device regulation. So if you are a company that is producing those kind of products, you'll have to now follow the medical device regulation. Second product on the list, aesthetic implants excluding tattooing products or piercing. Aesthetic implants, we, are, we can say that it's implants that are used to make your shape, your body, your anatomy better, but without any medical, medical purpose. Uh, for example, if you want to have some six pack, so let's say that you can implant yourself some, uh, some uh, gel implants and create those six pack. And this is aesthetic and not medical but now they are regulated by the medical device regulation. Third one is substances like Botox or hyaluronic acid uh, that are used to remove some wrinkles from your face or other parts if you want. Then we have equipment to reduce adipose tissue. So I think it's clearly understandable. We have then some new equipments that are pulsing light to um, resurface the skin, to remove some tattoo or to remove hair, and those are now considered as medical devices. And the last one 
is equipment for brain stimulation. So all those products I mentioned are just a summary of the, of the Annex 16. So if you want to have more clarity, you have to go and read it. Okay, now what I want to do with you is to give you some kind of uh, quiz or exercise to do and uh, to see if you really understood what is a medical device. Let's talk about, for example, software like uh, the step trackers or the food trackers or all those kind of wellness applications that you have on your mobile phone. Is this a medical device or not? So I give you a few seconds or minutes, just pause the video and then come back to see the answer. So, do you have it? The answer is no, it's not a medical device. And to see that uh, black and white, if I can say, on the medical device regulation, you just have to go to the paragraph 19. It's the paragraph that is just before um, the article, the first article of the medical device regulation. You know, it's this big introduction where there is a lot of small paragraphs that are um, described. So look at the one called 19 and you will see clearly that those small applications or things like that are not considered as a medical device. My second example, um, let's take a syringe. A syringe, so it's easy, but let's make it more complicated. We will have a syringe filled with a drug. Let's say an anti antibiotic or something like that. What do you think? Is it a medical device or is it a drug? So I know that there is the two components inside, but you have to understand really, um, yeah, really what is, uh, what is the kind of classification for this product. So I give you a few seconds, I'm waiting for you, pause the video and uh, come back for getting the answer. Okay, so this syringe filled with a drug is a drug. Why? Because what we are looking with a medical device is its principal intended use. The intended use or the action that we want these products to do is not the action of the syringe. The syringe is kind of the vehicle to transport the drug, but at the end, the action that we want is really to have the drug uh, healing the patient or uh, working on this disease. But mainly, it's not the syringe that is uh, the principal intended uh, use for this product. Let's talk now about a product that a lot of people have. This is glasses. So is glasses a medical device or not? So I'll give you some time, waiting for the answer, pause the video, look for the definition again. Okay, you have it? So yes, a glasses, glasses are medical devices. So this is something that everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people are wearing and as it helps us to uh, have a better vision, to um, alleviate a disability, so then it is a medical device from the definition. Let's now go with another product which is um, a stent. So this is the, the small metal uh, tube that we are inserting in the arteries uh, to maintain the arteries open. Um, and uh, let's make it more complicated and we say that we are talking now about a stent that is coated with some antibiotic, some, some drugs. So is this a medical device or a drug? Okay, pause the video and let's see. Okay, as I've said for the syringe, uh, this is a medical device because the first intended use is to maintain the arteries open. It's not the action of the antibiotic. The action of the antibiotic is supporting the stent, but it's not the primary action. The primary action is to maintain the arteries open. So this is a medical device. Just wanted to remind you, if you are interested to learn more on the medical device regulation, I have something for you. It's a free mini course. So it's a mini course where you have just to register. It's totally free. You will receive during six days emails from me with information regarding the medical device regulation. So the objective is really to digest the information piece per piece instead of having a big block of information. And then at the end, what I propose you is to pass a quiz. I have a quiz with 10 questions. You just have to pass it and you will serve a certificate of completion with your name and everything. And I will be your instructor on it. So what I will ask you is just if you can at the end share this certificate with some of your colleagues or maybe just tell some of your colleagues that this mini course exists so they can also profit for it.
If you're interested about more information of what, on what is a medical device, I created a blog post on my website, easymedicaldevice.com. It's a blog post talking about what is a medical device, not only in Europe, but also in USA, in Brazil, in China. And additionally, I also included all the classes in those countries. So something worth to read. Okay, we arrive now at the end of this video. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, please put me a thumb and also subscribe so we, you will be notified when the next video will come. So thank you very much and have a good day.